Hi, I'm Madeep Singh, founder of Madeeps.com. In this video, we'll be looking at some of our content approval or workflow features of our live HTML module. So let's get started. I'm logged in and I have edit rights to the page. I am in the edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new module. It's going to be live HTML module. We'll drop it right here. And this is just like a regular HTML module, you can go ahead and add content. But what we're interested in the workflow functionality, so I'm going to go to settings and uh, I see a workflow option here. And out of the box, there's three options direct publish, which is the regular mode. You know, as soon as you type in your content, hit update, it gets published. And then there's content staging and approval. So let's look at staging for a second. I'm going to go ahead and change this to uh, staging. And then I'm also going to go ahead and go to permissions and I'm going to say I have a security rule called content editors who have the right to edit this module. So those are the two uh, changes I'm going to make here. I'm go ahead and hit update. Just to kind of give you uh, an idea I've created a rule called content editors and to that rule I've added a user called editor. So I'm going to go ahead and log out now. I'm going to log back in as the editor. Okay, so now I'm logged in as an editor and there's the live HTML module. So I'm going to go ahead and go again to the edit this page. And I'm going to go to manage content and to save us time, I already have some HTML here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in here. Basically, it's a picture of a bikes with some heading and content. So because we're in content staging workflow, I have the option, do I want to publish the content or not? So if I don't publish the content and just save and return, right now the, con uh, the current state of the content is draft. So this is just for my view. So this is how it looks. If I were to go ahead and get out of the edit mode, I still do not see any content. So that's what the public end view would be seeing. If I log in and go into edit mode, this is how the content will look, minus this bar on the top. Now this bar on the top allows me to quickly publish the content, or I can go back in and do it from the, from by checking publish content and hitting save. If I do that, if I click on publish content, it tells me your draft state will now become published, and my content will become visible like it is now. So. If I close out of edit mode, now the content is visible. So this is content staging. Basically, it allows you to see your content in a draft mode before you actually go ahead and publish it out. So I'm going to go log out and log back in as a host or admin. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and change the workflow to a content approval workflow. Now a content staging, as we saw, was draft and then published. A content approval is a draft then it goes to a second state where someone actually reviews your content and says okay either the content is approved or rejected and then finally if it's approved it goes to published now I can go ahead and use this workflow but I'm gonna go ahead and go to manage workflow and create a new workflow for demo purposes so I'm gonna say from workflow new workflow I'm gonna call this marketing approval basically any content that is marketing that has marketing information or pricing or something like that must go through the marketing uh, appro approval. Let's call it marketing review. Sounds like a better name. Okay. Now here's an important thing on the top called workflow scope. We are creating a new workflow so we can tell the library, the workflow library, uh, how do we intend to use that workflow. If I intend to use this workflow through uh, multiple sites, multiple portals, on this .NET installation, then I would keep it at host global. But let's say if I only want this workflow to be available on this site only, this portal only, but it be vis available on all workflow modules that are Mandeep's module. For example, let's say you want this marketing review workflow to be available in live blog, live articles, or live tabs, or live accordion, uh, other Mandeep's module, then you would choose portal all workflow modules. 
But if you wanted only this to be available for this portal, but only in live HTML modules, then you would choose this option. And lastly, if you only want this workflow for this instance of module only, then you would choose this. Since I'm doing a demo, I'll just go ahead and use this. Uh, all changes must be approved by marketing department. So just a description. Let's go ahead and click Add New Workflow. Now that I've added a workflow, by default there is two states. First is draft and the last one is published. So what we're going to do is add new state. We're going to say that this must be reviewed by marketing. So the state name is marketing review. First one is draft then it's going to go into marketing review. And that's what we use for a workflow name. So let me go ahead and change this to uh, something else. How about awaiting marketing review? That's better. Now, if I check this notify option, then all the reviewers, which I'm going to choose right here, will get an email automatically when there's a content waiting for their approval. Active basically says whether this state is active or not. You can temporarily uncheck that if you want to bypass a state. And finally, I'm going to say who are the reviewers who can approve or reject the content so for this purposes I actually created a security role called marketing review I'm gonna give them the review rights and go ahead and click update and finally uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click back okay so let me show you really quick what I did I went to manage roles created a marketing review role and in that role I added a user called review work just a username called review which can review work so let's go back to the module and last thing we want to do is actually apply the workflow we just created so I'm going to go to settings again and choose the marketing review that we just created which is telling us from draft is going to go to awaiting marketing review and then it's going to get published so let's go ahead and update all right I'm going to log out again and this time I'm going to log in back as the content editor and I'm going to say I was just given a task to update the pricing and I'm going to change the pricing to $3.99 instead of $4.99 I'm going to publish the content if I do that it's, it's going to go instead of draft it's going to go for the marketing review and at this time the reviewers would get an email if they had a check to notify them I'm going to go ahead and hit save and return so I'm going to say uh, it's basically asking for a comment what changed I've changed the pricing from $499.95 to $399.95 I'm going to go ahead and add, add that comment and if I go ahead and take a look at the page I see the new pricing which is $399.95 if I close out of the edit mode I see that there has been no change to the content yet because it's waiting for the reviewers to approve it so let me log out I'm gonna go ahead and log in some with someone that has review permission okay and I'm in edit page and what I see here is that editor basically approved the content and is telling me that I've changed the pricing from 499 to 399.5 it tells me uh, what date and time they approved it. I can also see that the price is now at $399.95 so I am satisfied with the changes they've made. You know at this point I can actually go into manage content and say let me take a look at exactly what they've done. So if I compare the two versions I can see yes they actually changed $499 to $399.5 and that's the only change that was done. So I am I'm satisfied with this. I can go ahead and approve and reject from in here or I could just do this from outside as well just by overlook, visually overlooking at the content. So I'm going to go ahead and click approve. I'm going to say thanks for the changes. And at this point the content is finally published and even if I close out of edit mode I see the final $399.95 pricing. So that's it for content workflow approval. Now your workflows can have as many states as you like and there could be as many reviewers as you want. So there's really literally no uh, cap on that. You can go ahead and create workflows as dynamic as to your business.
uh, scenarios. Thank you so much for watching the video. If there's anything that's not discussed in the video, if you have any questions, please do let us know.